Good afternoon, dear students. Today we have our uh, lecture Modeling in Biology and uh, Medicine. Today we will discuss uh, next uh, questions, general background on uh, models, types of models commonly used in healthcare technology assessment, methods for selecting modeling uh, methods. Uh, before we start, we need to understand what is modeling. Uh, modeling is the process of uh, producing a model. What is a model? Mod a model is a hypothetical description of a system of interest. The purpose of a model is to enable the analyst to predict the effect of changes to the uh, different types of system. At this uh, slide, you can uh, see modeling process uh, picture. We have um, real-world fact or real-world data. By using simplification method, we designed, we created model. Then we analyze this uh, model and make our conclusions about the uh, real-world uh, object. Uh, if we interpret this conclusion, uh, we get real-world explanations for prediction. And then uh, if we verify, if we verify uh, these uh, explanations, we can understand real-world object, objects. Uh, why do we use model instead the real object, instead the real system? Why not experiment with the actual system? There are two main reasons. If it is possible to experiment with the actual system, let's do it. But as usual, it is very uh, difficult and it is uh, very complicated. However, especially in healthcare, it is frequently too expensive, too disruptive, too slow, and um, unethical to experiment with the actual systems. Why are the models uh, useful? At this slide, you see some explanations. Uh, because models provide the means of uh, testing our knowledge about the natural phenomena, provide the way to access computers to solve the problems, uh, can safety test hypothesis. Uh, as usual, we use hypothesis in the uh, assessment of the treatment or drug treatment. Uh, by using models, we can predict system uh, behavior under untested or unstable conditions. For example, we have for our next experiment. How many life years would be saved if every other person with um, age greater than 65 years had a one-time colonoscopy with the polypectomy and surveillance every three to five years for positive findings. Uh, in the next point, you have uh, 
explanation why it is expensive because we need to multiply each person uh, multiply by the cost of the colonoscopy and uh, add up follow-up costs disruptive a day of inconvenience per patient for preparation and uh, examinations also disruption to gastroenterologist is there enough capacity in our healthcare uh, area uh, then it is slow many years to get results and possible it is unethical through uncommon perforations occur with a known benefit to patient there are different types of models which are used in medicine biological models or model organisms physical models and uh, mathematical or computational models model organisms generally possess three main characteristics they have rapid growth short generation time minimal uh, creation and maintenance costs ease of manipulation as usual we use model organisms in investigation in medicine and uh, biology at this slide you see a different uh, examples you see different examples of of this uh, but bi biological uh, models drosophila synopsis uh, leaves mass musculus as the common uh, as the most uh, often used uh, creation and kind of happy this elegance What is the main difference between mathematical and uh, physical models? Uh, then uh, most people think of models, they envision physical uh, models. For example, uh, clay cars in uh, wine tunnels or life-size layouts of an emergency room for a workflow analysis. The types of models used to evaluate the effectiveness and cost effectiveness of healthcare technologies are mathematical models. Mathematical models represent a system in terms of logical and quantitative relationships that are manipulated to examine how the model reacts and thus how the system would react if the model is valid. We can uh, discern uh, mathematical models into next uh, classes. Deterministic mathematical models. Um, this type of models uh, is for a model. The input and output variables are fixed values. Stochastic. At least one of the input or output variables is uh, probabilistic static don't confuse with statistics static time is not taken into account and, and dynamic model um, this is model their time their interactions among variables are taken into account uh, modeling process consists of some uh, steps First, we need uh, to ask the question. Then uh, we need to select the modeling approach. Uh, next step is to formulate the model. Uh, then we need to solve the model and verify if it is possible. And last step, we need to interpret the uh, model. At 
at this slide you see the example of simple mathematical model as usual uh, for mathematical models we use uh, a set of equations or uh, mathematical uh, formulas to describe the real uh, real process or a real object uh, at this slide uh, for example uh, we get simple mathematical model for uh, travel distance which uh, we can depict uh, distance travels by using mathematical uh, equation d distance traveled equals to rate of travel multiplied by time spent traveling in this simple model it is possible to get an exact analytical solution this equation may uh, apply to a single car on a test uh, track uh, but uh, it is little use to determine distance travel uh, traveled on a busy highway with varying speeds and levels of conge congestion in this simple uh, equation d uh, equals r multiplied by t model it is possible to get an exact analytical solution some analytical solutions can become extraordinarily complex uh, for example uh, inverting a non-sparse matrix and requires substantial computing power if an analytical solution to to a mathematical model is available and uh, computationally efficient study the model in this manner however many systems are highly complex so that valid mathematical models of them are thems themselves complex uh, precluding the possibility of an analytical solution uh, such models must be analyzed by simulation uh, that means numerically varying the relevant model inputs to determine how they affect the output measures of interest evidence uh, from uh, randomized control trials remain the highest quality data source for evaluating the efficacy of healthcare interventions however Evidence from uh, randomized control trials alone can be uninformative if the uh, randomized control uh, trials and points are not translated into measures that are evaluated by patients, providers, insurers, and policy makers. For example, in patients with osteoporosis, fracture risk evolves over a lifetime from the development of peak bone mass to uh, subsequent bone loss and the age-related uh, increase in the like, likelihood of uh, falling, among other factors. It may take decades to determine the effects of osteoporosis interventions. Hence, the most informative osteoporosis interventions, um, randomized controlled trials, would potentially last for uh, some decades a similar situation exists for many other chronic diseases such as diabetes uh, colorectal and prostate cancer and Alzheimer's diseases and uh, another disease also the lengthy clinical trials needed to properly evaluate interventions for these chronic diseases would require financial and time opportunity costs that would make them infeasible there are few epidemiological studies of clinical trials are able to measure disease progression and the impact of interventions on costs quality of life and health outcomes over a lifetime 
In the absence of such information, the most practical method to evaluate the health outcomes and costs of uh, interventions is to develop models that integrate relevant data and extrapolate to long-term time horizons. Models that evaluate healthcare interventions uh, synthesize evidence on health uh, consequences and costs from many different sources, including data from clinical trials, observational studies, insurance claim uh, databases, case registers, public health statistics, and uh, preference surveys. Even then, the uh, disease uh, does not require a long-term uh, evaluation period. Models can prove uh, valuable by uh, using results from indirect uh, comparisons of individual uh, randomized control trials to compare treatments not studied head-to-head -head and estimate outcomes not consistently measured, uh, allowing the extrapolation of effects to populations not studied in a particular randomized control trials, allowing sensitivity analysis of uh, assumption addressing treatment efficacy, health state utilities, cost, and so on. Decision model, uh, model, uh, decision model is a structured representation of a decision process that uh, allows a person to perform a decision analysis. Decision analysis is just a systematic uh, articulation of common sense. Any decent doctor, or let's uh, call uh, she or he decision maker, Reflects, uh, reflects on alternatives, is aware of uncertainties, uh, modifies judgment on the basis of accumulated evidence, balances risk of various kinds, considers the potential uh, consequences of his or her diagnosis and treatments, and uh, synthesizes all of this uh, in making a, a reason, reason decision that he or she de decreases right for the patient. All the decision analysis is asking to the doctor uh, to do is to do this a lot more systematically and in such a way that others can see what is going on and can contribute to the decision process. Uh, at this slide, all uh, types of uh, modeling methods we can, we can divide into different subcategories. Types of modeling methods frequently used in health technology assessment. Uh, there are three types, decision trees, markup, uh, models and uh, micro simulation models. Uh, there are subcategories for Markov models such as cohort and uh, Monte Carlo methods. Micro simulation is divided into three parts fixed uh, time advance, discrete event, time to event without and uh, with uh, curing for resources, and agent based modeling methods. A decision tree. A decision tree is uh, a diagrammatic representation of the possible outcomes and events used in decision analysis. The questions uh, to be asked in uh, analysis of the, the question are arranged as a series of decision or chance uh, notes each node uh, will result in branches creating a tree effect. Uh, 
the sequential steps proceed uh, with each step depending on the decision or probability outcome from the uh, preceding step. At this slide, uh, you see example of a decision tree. Consider a patient who has a, a prosthetic uh, heart valve and is receiving anticoagulant therapy. Such a patient may have an embolic or hemorrhagic uh, event at any time. Each kind of event causes morbidity, short-term or chronic, and may result in the patient's death. The decision tree uh, fragment on, uh, in uh, this uh, figure shows one way of uh, representing the prognosis for such a patient. The first chance note um, labeled anti -quab, uh, has three branches labels bleed, embolus, and no event. Uh, both bleed and embolus may be either fatal or not fatal. If uh, no event occurs, the patient remains well. Simple three decision. Uh, simple tree decision tree embody the essential paradigm of decision analysis. Specially, all decisions may be composed into three broadly defined components. Uh, decision note is this point in time when a, a, a choice is made among uh, competing strategies. Decision strategy set of actions or events consequent to a decision. Outcome notes, uh, this is terminal branches of three that represent outcomes or a strategy. Multiple uh, outcomes, payoffs may be assigned. The expected value of a decision tree is calculated by averaging out or holding back uh, the branches of the tree. The value of each strategy is path probability to the terminal node multiplied by the payoffs at the terminal node. Branching probabilities can be deterministic represented by point values or stochastic represented by probability distributions. Uncertainty around uh, branching probabilities and terminal node values is examined with sensitivity analysis. There are some advantages of using uh, decision trees. Uh, first of all, uh, it is graphical, so can uh, diagrammatically represent decision alternatives, change uh, chance events and possible outcomes. Visual approach assists with uh, comprehending decision sequences and uh, dependencies. Decision trees are efficient, can quickly express common alternatives clearly and easily modify as new information becomes available. Complementary can use in conjunction with other uh, methodologies, uh, for example, apparent recursive methods to terminal nodes. But if we have uh, advantages, uh, we have some disadvantages of using uh, of decision trees. Um, the first disadvantage here for decision tree is it must assume population be, uh, being examined can be modeled in the aggregate. It being applied to an individual, assumption is made that aggregate probabilities are relevant to the individual, does not specify then events occur. Assumes that each event can occur only once. 
can address previous two disadvantages with a uh, recursive tree. Uh, at this slide, you see a recursive decision tree. Uh, recursive tree modeling uh, complications of coagulant anticoagulant uh, therapy. Uh, we have uh, some previous terminal nodes of post bleed, post embolus, and no event are replaced by the chance node anticoagulant, which appears at the root of the tree. In a recursive tree, some nodes have branches that have appeared previously in the tree. Each repetition of the tree uh, structure represents a convenient length of time and any event may be considered repeatedly. Uh, note that uh, with only two time periods, there are 70 terminal nodes, five periods would have hundreds of uh, branches. So if you use a course of decision tree, this um, model is very complicated. Uh, next type of model uh, which is used to uh, estimate uh, effectiveness of the treatment is the Markov models. The Markov models provides a far more convenient way of modeling prognosis for uh, clinical problems with ongoing uh, risk. Describes as uh, partially cyclic directed graphs particularly uh, useful when decision problem involves uh, exposure to risk or event over time. Ongoing exposures, exposures or situations uh, where the specific timing of an event is uh, regarded as important or uncertain or they describing the timing of event is necessary for face validity. Markov model assumes that the patient is always in one of a finite number of health states can called marker states. All events of interest are modeled as transitions. Each state is assigned a utility and possibly a cost, and the contribution of this utility depends on the length of time in the state. Uh, at this slide, you see Markov state diagrams. There are um, three states for the patient well state, disabled state, and dead state. Um, common representation of a simple Markov process called the state transition diagram. We have uh, three different states and uh, we have lines as transitions from one state to another state. Each state represented by a circle. Arrows connecting different states indicate um, possible transitions. Uh, states with arrows to itself indicate that patients may remain uh, in that state in uh, consecutive cycles. Uh, so look at the well uh, state. Uh, patient can uh, remain the well state some cycles and do the same for disabled uh, for disabled uh, cycle note the transition from disabled to well nor dead to any other uh, state uh, are impossible Time horizon in the analysis divided into equal increments of uh, time for markup cycles. Assumed that a patient can only make a single state transition during uh, one cycle. 
length of cycle chosen to represent a clinically meaningful time interval. If time horizon is a patient's lifetime, then cycle is usually one year. If events occur more frequently, cycle can be a month or even a week in the Markov models. Evaluation of a Markov process uh, yields the average amount of time spent in each state. Patient is given credit for time spent in each state in uh, life years. Optionally, each state can be associated with a numerical uh, factor representing the quality of uh, life in that state relative to perfect health. For example, uh, well, equals to 1, disabled equals to 0.7, dead equals to 0. Uh, utility associated with spending one cycle in a particular state is uh, referred to as incremental utility. Analogous to utilities assigned to particular states, a cost may be specified for each state representing their financial cost of uh, residing in that state for one cycle. Markov pro uh, processes are categorized by whether or not state transition probabilities are constant over time. For example, transition probability from well to date may consist of two components. Probability of dying unrelated to disease in question changes over time as patient gets older. And the second, probability from disease. Part of MRH of uh, or embolus uh, during cycle may or may not be constant over time. Uh, for a mark of a uh, model of uh, N states, uh, there will be n uh, power two transition probabilities. Then these probabilities are constant with respect to time. Um, it is called as Markov chains. They can be represented by n by n matrix. And in this slide, you see this matrix with uh, different values for with uh, all the possible probabilities. Most Markov models used in healthcare are semi-Markov. Unlike Markov chains, in semi-Markov models, state transitions may be allowed to vary or be time variant and usually need to be solved numerically via simulation. Uh, in Markov process, the behavior of the process uh, subsequent to any cycle depends only on its uh, description in that cycle. The process has no memory or earlier cycles. Because of this assumption, the prognosis of a patient cannot depend uh, on events prior to arriving in that state. For example, patient is well after recovering from the from an osteoporotic forearm fracture. Uh, through well, the probability of future fracture is likely higher than for patients in well without history of fracture. Uh, build additional states to accurately represent these patients. At this slide, you see a uh, Markov model and decision three combination. Uh, if uh, we are trying to choose between surgery and medical therapy, we may construct a decision tree like uh, that shown in top figure. In this case, uh, events of interest such as operative death and cure 
are modeled by a three structure outside the Markov process. A far more efficient structure is shown in bottom figure. In this case, the Markov process incorporates all events of interest and the decision analysis is uh, reduced simply to comparing the values of two Markov processes. At this slide you see an uh, example of Markov uh, cohort simulation. In the table above, we have some columns, and column five, some of uh, include some of uh, number of patients in each state is multiplied by the incremental utility of this state. The stroke does not contribute to some patients will spend on average one and five uh, circles in the well state and uh, 1.25 in the disabled state for a net uh, unadjusted life expectancy of 2.75 cycles. Mark of uh, cohort simulation are shown uh, at this uh, picture uh, at the left. Uh, in the top level, you see um, all the patients are healthy, all the patients are well. Uh, panel R top shows the initial distribution with all patients in the well state. Panel B, the middle uh, level, uh, shows the distribution uh, pathway through the simulation. So some of the patients, um, all the patients, are divided into uh, three uh, different groups. Some of them um, state well, some of them uh, seek intermediate, and uh, some of the initial uh, group uh, were dead. And at the panel C, the bottom line, the bottom uh, level, the bottom uh, level, shows the final distribution with the entire cohort of the dead state. At the final state, um, all the patients are dead. Uh, at this figure, you see Monte Carlo simulation and uh, it shows the state transitions of a single person until death occurs during uh, some cycles. At this slide you see sim uh, six cycles. Uh, the, the first uh, state of the patient is well, the last state of the patient is dead. Uh, as an alternative to cohort simulation, analysis performed by individually uh, simulations large numbers of individual patients. At the end of each cycle, a random number generator is used together with transition probabilities to determine on which state the patient will transition. Outputs from a large number of individual patients with uh, constitute a distribution of survival values, the mean of uh, which should be similar to expected utility of cohort simulation. Various measures can also be uh, determined from Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, primary advantage over decision trees uh, is the increased uh, phase uh, validity by uh, capturing expected time horizons via Markov cycles. Disadvantages of Markov models. State transitions can only occur at the start, middle or end, uh, whichever is determined or cycle creating potential uh, biases. Uh, cycle time 
made for simplifying assumptions regarding transition probabilities. Next uh, method of uh, modeling is the microsimulation. In microsimulations, patients are simulated as individuals as opposite to homogeneous cohort and represented by software objects called entities. One of the primary advantages of uh, microsimulations is that the patient entities can be assigned attributes and the uh, occurrence and timing of patient events can be uh, determined from these attributes. Microsimulations have the ability to ascribe a potentially vast number of contributions of uh, characteristics to individually simulated patients. An individual's uh, health state is defined by its combination of characteristics, not by its assignment among limited predefined health states as in Markov cohort simulation. Eliminates uh, the need for excessive number for defined health states as patients' transitions to subsequent health states are dependent upon patient characteristics, not just their current health state. Uh, types uh, of microsimulations. There are a lot of different types of microsimulations. Some uh, of them are shown in this uh, slide. Fixed time advance. Patients can only transition to different health states and fixed time intervals are defined by the so-called length. Uh, next time of microsimulation is the time to event. The occurrence and timing of an event is described uh, determined by a random sampling of a probability distribution. Discrete event simulation uh, entities of patients may interact or compete uh, with each other for system resources or system resources such as physicians, hospital beds, and so on. Uh, key elements of uh, discrete event uh, simulation are entities, attributes, resources, and queries. Then the resource is not available for an entity. The entity is uh, relegated to a queer until a resource is available. Agent-based simulation. Independent multi-agent uh, uh, discrete event uh, simulation. Agent entities contain information about their state and decision rules on how to communicate and interact with other agents. Uh, to choose most appropriate modeling method, we need to evaluate next uh, criteria shows, uh, shown in this slide. Uh, first of all, we need to understand project type. Then uh, we need to set up population resolution. Uh, we need to understand uh, dependence or interdependence and feedback. Treatment of time, treatment of space, resource constraints, autonomy or freedom of action of entities and populations, embedding of knowledge and availability of evidential data. Project type. What does it mean project type? Model, uh, first of all, we need to understand which model to be uh, used to answer a single uh, question. Uh, there are uh, different possible Models. Uh, models shown uh, should only be complex enough to answer the single question. Uh, model to be used programmatically uh, or long term. Methods uh, that can handle more complexity usually required. Population resolution. Um, 
do we need uh, to use this uh, model in uh, aggregate? More simulation methods can handle. Uh, if we need um, individual level, micro simulation required. Interdependencies and uh, feedback. Are entity interdependencies important? And in uh, infection epidemic involving exposure, on exposure infected groups, uh, discrete uh, event simulation or agent-based simulations required. Treatment of time. If time treated, uh, cumulatively or instantly. Uh, neosly, then trees can be used. If changes over time are important, time of therapy, survival and interval, then marker or micro simulations needed. Treatment of space. Is location important to the study question? Optimal distribution of mental health professionals in a state, then Micro simulations or agent based simulations needed. Uh, resource constraints. If it is important uh, to model limited sources and waiting uh, lists, then uh, discrete event uh, simulation or agent based simulations required. Anatomy freedom of action for uh, entities and populations. Are all potential paths through the model uh, predefined? Uh, are absorbing states required? Are multiple paths uh, open to the populations being modeled? Then uh, discrete event uh, simulation or agent-based simulation should be uh, used. Embedding of knowledge treatment of space is the knowledge embedded in the structure of the model. So decision trees and markers, uh, markup model, markup model should be used. Or is the knowledge embedded in the entities? This means we should use micro simulations. Uh, at this slide, uh, we combined all the possible uh, levels, all the possible levels. How to uh, how to choose appropriate model for a process or for object we need. Uh, all, all the questions are included into different uh, levels. And at this slide you see algorithm for choosing a simulation method. Uh, is the single uh, is this used for single purpose or programmatic? Uh, then we need to um, estimate population level. Is it aggregate or individual? Then interactivity. Is it important or not important? Then treatment of time. Uh, we need to consider treatment of time. We need to consider treatment of space if it is important. Resource constraints if it is important also. Agent autonomy and uh, the bottom level is the result of the uh, different methods of uh, simulation. So according to the answers we can choose appropriate simulation method.
we finish uh, the first part of this lecture, lecture about uh, modeling in biology and medicine, and we'll have practical uh, tasks in this uh, topic some later. Thank you for attention.